first of all, I want to thank the Social Development Council and Alex and for, for your team, because I know there's many of you out here who are scribing, who are helping who help keep time, uh, who greeted us at the door, so thank you for that. And thanks to each and every one of you for coming and participating. And as I look around the room, I look at all of the papers, I look at all of the information that has been received and shared with us today. And I thank you for that, because that gives me inspiration. Uh, part of my uh, reason for running was, was we need to connect, and that's why I had Connect with Kelly sessions, um, and, and because I feel it's really important and that we've lost that connection. It's not my first time being at one of these sessions. I uh, had been at Eddie's in the past, but it's my first time uh, in front of you today as a candidate for, for, uh, the, can for the City of Waterloo as a mayoral candidate. And I'm happy to have our democratic process because as I look around the room, you've got so many candidates, you've got people who are interested and uh, inspired to provide a choice for you as we enter this election. And that's one of the reasons why I ran, was because I wanted to provide an option, a choice of leadership for our city. I bring, uh, some people say, why didn't you jump in at Ed Mayer? And I say with confidence, I'm jumping in at this stage because I bring more than 16 years of municipal government experience. I have a breadth and depth, depth of experience that makes me confident that I can be a good representative for each and every one of you at our regional, at our Waterloo, our regional table and our city table. Today there were lots of issues to pay attention to. People talked about our communities, the fact that we need to connect and be better together. Talked about spending, GRT, uh, working in our city, and developers. And how are we holding our developers accountable for some of the decisions that are being made? The, idea, uh, the ideas and solutions come from our ability to listen and to be present. But we need to listen authentically. We need to listen recognizing our own privilege that each and every one of us brings to the table. We need to listen with kindness and compassion. Leadership is important. Leadership is important at our council table. And as public servants, it is our job to make sure that the people are well represented. We need to work collectively, cooperatively, and together because we are better together. So my name is Kelly Stice. You can find out more about me on my platform uh, that I have on my website, kellystice.ca. I brought some cards here, but I'm also available after to have a conversation because this is one of the things I really enjoyed about this campaign is my ability to meet and connect with people. So thank you. Well, thank you, Alex. Uh, again, my name is Dave Jaworski, uh, candidate for Mayor of Waterloo. Uh, thank you to the, uh, to the Centre for hosting us here today. This is a, a great community conversation. And uh, I must do a shout out to uh, Trudy, Trudy Bone, because she was not a person to be afraid of asking for anything, uh, to come into your office and to make progress. And she really put us on the path of progress thanks to, thanks to her experience and, uh, and what she's done. I'm glad the, uh, the, you know, the torch continues to burn brightly. What I've heard at the tables, in, in, in essence, is that there is a thirst for knowledge in this community. People were very, very much interested in what, how did, what are the inner mechanics of government and how do we make it work for us. And uh, as I, I was, I would tell, uh, tell some of the stories of how we work at government, you know, it really came true at our table. We said, you know what, communication. We need to know more about how to make government work for us. And so I think that's a, that's a key takeaway that might not be on these sheets here, these 30 sheets that I see of, of great information that will be captured. And uh, we need to uh, make sure that we have that open dialogue, that open communication, uh, so that we can get more together from the province and the federal government. It was a surprise to many that uh, wealth creation taxes, HST, business taxes, 100% of that leaves our community. And so we have to use uh, our government relations skills, I was a registered government lobbyist, to help repatriate those funds back into our community to make things happen here. Um, we talked about the uh, excess capacity in our transit system. And I know at our regional council, including Mayor Barry Vermanovic, who's not here today, participating in the other one, you know, we're passionate about using that excess capacity. When we get that ion up and running, how can we use it to do good in our community? And that's something that we would like to do. Uh, it was a surprise to many to see to hear that the region actually has a plan to end chronic homelessness. Funding is, is from the province. That's a bit of a challenge, but that's something that we're going to, uh, to work on. 
um, on zoning, in terms of having affordable housing. Until uh, a year ago, the province had never given us a tool to create affordable housing, to enforce affordable housing in, in the towers that are going up. And it's only now that Kitchener and Waterloo are going to work together, now that the tool is out there. And I know my council is pretty passionate about enforcing affordable housing in some of these big developments that are going on, and that will take place in the coming uh, year or two. One thing that I want to wrap up with is uh, there are key organizations in our community that do the heavy lifting for us and really get stuff done. They have the experts. So for those of you who are interested in volunteerism or giving in any way, uh, supportive housing of Waterloo and YWCA. We had a, a historic investment in uh, affordable housing in City of Waterloo this past term of council. Let's keep it up. They still need funding. Uh, the Working Center, St. John's Kitchen, those are some that are really uh, wow. worthy of, of help. And uh, certainly uh, the Food Bank and uh, House of Friendship are other two, uh, two organizations near and dear to my heart. So with always, of 2,000 charities, think of them. Thank you.